Hi friends, this is Raj Shekhar, a GET faculty for electrical machines. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about EMF equation of transformer. <music> EMF equation of transformer. Let's see here. Generally, we discussed earlier in transformer EMF E is equals to minus N D phi upon DT. This is actually the formula for EMF equation. For example, I'm taking a flux phi is equals to phi M sine omega T nothing but a sinusoidal flux is given. Now tell me what is EMF? EMF E is equals to minus N differentiation with respect to, to T of phi M into sine omega T, phi M into sine omega T. Now tell me the EMF equation E is equals to minus n into this phi m is a constant value phi m differentiation of sine differentiation of sine cosine cosine omega t and differentiation of omega t is omega so emf e is equals to minus n phi m omega into cos omega t. This is a EMF equation. Of course, do a small modification, minus n phi m omega. This sign can be written as 90 minus omega t. Sine of 90 minus omega t cos omega t. And substitute this minus here or bring it same. Now tell me n phi m omega into sine of omega t minus 90 degrees. This is a EMF equation. EMF equation. Here the flux equation phi is equals to phi m into sine omega t. And here the EMF equation E is equals to EMF equation E is equals to N phi omega into sine omega t minus 90. The phase shift between EMF and the flux, the phase shift between EMF and the flux is 90 degrees. EMF and flux displaced by 90 degrees. And here phi is equals to phi m into sin omega t e is equals to e m into sin omega t now tell me what is e m here what is e m the maximum e m f induced in the transformer is the maximum e m f induced in the transformer is n phi m omega N phi m omega is nothing but N phi m omega. Omega is nothing but 2 pi f. 2 pi is nothing but 6.28 phi m f into N. This is our maximum EMF induced in the transformer. 6.28 into phi m into f into n, the maximum EMF induced in the transformer. For example, if you want to RMS value, how we can calculate RMS value? We know maximum value by RMS value is equals to peak factor. Generally for sinusoidal analysis, Peak factor value root 2. Yes or no? Now tell me, what is ERMS? ERMS is equals to E maximum by root 2. What is E maximum? 6.28 upon root 2 phi m f n. 
what is this value? This value 4.44 into 5m into f into n. This is what our ERMS value. This is what our ERMS value. For example, if they ask you a question, I want E average. How we can calculate E average? We know RMS upon average is called form factor for sinusoidal analysis, its value 1.11. From this, E average is equals to E RMS by 1.11. What is E RMS? 4.44 upon 1.11 phi m f into n. So E average is equals to 4 phi m f into n. This is E average value and this is E RMS value. And this is E maximum value. These all are the equations for single phase transformer. For single phase transformer, no need to find the E phase. If it is a three phase transformer, E phase value, and here we have to take number of tons in single phase. Right? This is simply for a single phase transformer EMF equation. EMF equation. But if they ask you a question, I want E maximum per ton. E maximum per ton. E maximum per ton is equals to. This is E maximum. Per ton nothing but divided by N and divided by N. So N, N gets cancelled. E maximum per ton is equals to 6.28 into 5M into F. This is E maximum per ton. As usually, I want E RMS per ton. E RMS per ton is equals to, E RMS per ton is equals to 4.44 phi m into f. 4.44 phi m into f. For example, I want E average per ton. Can you tell me what is answer first? E average per ton. Can you tell me what is answer first? Yeah, very good. E average per ton is equals to 4 phi m f. This is simply the different types of EMF equation for transformer. But in generally, if they ask you a question, find E maximum, this is the formula. Find E RMS, this is the formula. Find E average, this is the formula. If they don't mention, if they didn't mention, just simply find EMF. They ask you like that, then you have to calculate RMS value, 4.44 phi m f into n. This is the general formula if they not mentioned any values. Right. Now, this can be written as the EMF E is equals to 4.44 phi m. Phi m can be written as B maximum into area. Yes or no? Because B is equals to flux density is equals to phi upon A. Flux density phi upon A, then flux is equals to B multiplied A. So B multiplied A, F, N. They will ask you a question. In transformer EMF equation, the flux involved is. In transformer EMF equation, the involved flux is maximum flux. Only in transformer EMF equation, maximum flux. Other than transformer, in any machine, the EMF equation is average flux. Remember. And next question. The area involved in the transformer EMF equation is 
the area involved in the transformer emf equation is net cross sectional area net cross sectional area we have to take here this is simply the emf equation generally we know transformer transformer is a constant constant flux device constant flux device nothing but flux constant phi1 is equals to phi2 nothing but b1 a1 is equals to b2 a2 they may ask you problem on this formula flux constant that's why b and a also constant b and a also constant like that they may ask you questions this is simply uh, one small problem and next problem and next problem see here in this equation this is already constant number of turns constant once manufactured and frequency mostly constant of course we have a different frequency converters that is the problem here we can change the frequency we have a frequency converters always 50 edges is not possible may not we can increase the frequency we can decrease the frequency so here i have a frequency converters i am going to change my frequency of course once manufactured the area is constant net cross sectional area now tell me the emf mainly depends on the emf mainly depends on the emf is directly proportional to b maximum multiplied with frequency b maximum multiplied with frequency so now tell me b maximum is directly proportional to b maximum is directly proportional to v by f e by f or v by f if b maximum constant if b maximum constant nothing but v by f constant v by f constant if v by f constant nothing but v1 upon f1 is equals to v2 upon f2 this is also very important b maximum constant or flux density constant or magnetization constant if they may ask you question like that then b maximum constant nothing but v by f constant nothing but v1 by f1 is equals to v2 by f2 this is also important so here here flux constant that's why b1 a1 is equals to b2 a2 and here b maximum constant if they say b maximum constant then v by f constant these are the questions they may ask you on transformer emf equation very 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 important one right so from this the transformer emf equation e is equals to 4.44 5m f n for example this is emf induced in the secondary winding then this is called secondary number of turns for example emf induced in the primary winding then the formula is 4.44 5m f n1 for example divide these two divide these two e2 upon e1 e2 upon e1 is equals to e2 upon e1 is equals to e2 upon e1 is equals to n2 upon n1 that is equals to some constant k this k is called 
transformation transformation ratio this is called transformation ratio if they ask you a question what is tons ratio tons ratio is nothing but n1 upon n2 or e1 upon e2 tons ratio is nothing but n1 upon n2 transformation ratio nothing but n2 upon n1 don't confuse this is generally the transformation ratio and tons ratio in generally the transformer in generally once you see here once you see here they may ask you some simple problems for example the transformer rating kva of course kva1 and kva2 both are same because transformer is a constant power device and here the current is called i1 and voltage is called e1 here the current is called e2 and voltage is called e2 for example they given kva rating and i1 how we can calculate e1 very simple kva is equals to i1 e1 kva is equals to i1 e1 of course the same kva is equals to i2 e2 i2 e2 nothing but i1 e1 is equals to i2 e2 nothing but e2 by e1 is equals to i1 by i2 e2 by e1 is equals to i1 by i2 that is equals to n2 by n1 that is equals to transformation ratio k that is equals to transformation ratio k this is simply the transformation ratio they may ask you questions on this this is about the emf equation of my transformer okay thank you